Go to plays, musicals, go to the photography and art exhibits. Take advantage of all the great things that, that will be here to, to do here at Milligan this year. All done by your classmates and your professors. And the last instruction from Paul that I want to share with you this morning is maybe the hardest for us to follow. Paul evidently was troubled by the way the people in Ephesus handled differences of opinion. And he said to the people there in Ephesians 4, 2 and 3, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. He's not asking for much, is he? Of course, we're all human. We all have opinions about things that sometimes cause us to disagree. Maybe small things, like our love for different sports teams, or which TV shows or movies or books are the best. Maybe we disagree over slightly more important issues when we demonstrate our support for different political candidates. Or maybe we disagree over bigger issues like matters revolving around social justice or equality or individual rights, issues like abortion, the list could go on and on. Sometimes we disagree over matters of doctrine and biblical interpretation. Though sometimes we disagree over things that don't matter very much, but sometimes they're big questions and things that we need to approach with care, with sensitivity with prayerful dependence upon God's Word for guidance and direction. If you pay any attention at all to the media, whether it be social media or mainstream media, you see time and time again that, that we don't seem to be dealing very well with disagreement these days. Protests in the streets, riots all around, even in Washington. Name calling, any, any manner of personal attacks they just don't show very much of a humble spirit, of gentleness, of patience, or love. But we're individuals brought together in community, so we have to be able to get along with one another, just like the world outside of Milligan has to. As I say, sadly, we don't see folks getting along very well out there. And I'm saddened by the lack of civility in today's public square. But we can do better here. We can listen to one another, and even if we don't agree, we can and should still love one another. But remember that loving one another sometimes means holding one another accountable for what is right and wrong. Loving one another sometimes means discipline and helping direct one another toward the truth that is only found in God's Word. But we can do that with a humble spirit with gentleness, with patience, and with peace and love. This is how we protect the unity of the Spirit that we can only find through Christ. So, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And I know that we can make it a great year, but it will rise or fall just as every year does based on how much care we give to our relationships with one another and to God. And remember this, I firmly believe that of all the things you leave Milligan with, it's the relationships you build with each other that will last the longest. So make the most of the opportunity you have here to build and grow and nurture those relationships and listen to what Paul had to say avoid bad company encourage one another and build each other up and keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace and with those in mind I know that we will have a phenomenal phenomenal year well, this, this unity of the Spirit is most visibly illustrated when we come together as a community and share the Lord's Supper together. Which was established by Jesus just before His crucifixion as a way that we might remember Him. 
His humble and gentle life, filled with patience and love for sinners, including us, is one important way we can keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace as we work and play and live together in this place, preparing for lives of service to God. We're going to share communion. Uh, my cabinet, uh, the leadership team here at Milligan will be serving the elements. We'll be passing them down the aisles. And this little communion kit that you've become accustomed to using in churches all over the place. We ask that you hold, the, hold those elements until you're instructed to, to uh, by, the, by uh, Dr. Selby, who will be leading us in a communion meditation. And we will protect those elements together.
Even when I don't feel that you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see that you're working Even when I don't feel that you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Stop!